Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm reviewing the Star Projector from Viseki and I'm super excited to unbox this because I've been seeing all over social media people posting about planetariums and star projectors and sun lamps and now I have my own little gadget here. It's very affordable on Amazon and I'll put the product link in the description below so that you can check it out for yourself. I'll be demoing the different lighting modes, walking through the process of setting up the smart app, and just giving my overall opinion of the functionality. Viseki's star projector can be controlled a few different ways with the smart app as I mentioned, but it also comes with a remote control if you prefer to manually control it, and it can also be voice controlled by utilizing an Alexa device. I personally don't have any smart home tech, so I'm just going to be showing you the remote control and app control functions today. This is the box that it came in, and on the outside you just have some general specs about the product. It says that it works with Alexa and Google Assistant, it has a music speaker, an automatic timer, a voice control mode, a remote control, and then you also have some more specific information like the model number, the manufacturer, and then which version of the model you got. I got the black version but it comes in either black or white. If you wanted to use this box for storing the product you could definitely do that because everything was packaged really safely. You can see in here this is the phone that the product came in and then everything was also individually wrapped as well. So straight out of the box you have the product here itself. I like that it's almost shaped like a UFO because that's just a funny little quirk for a star projector to have. And then you've got the power cord here. So just a note if you weren't aware it is only USB powered so if you don't already have a USB adapter I would definitely recommend investing in one of those. They're really cheap on Amazon. You also have the user manual here and the manual has everything that you would need to know about the remote control, the product features, the app functions, the QR codes to download the app itself. So everything is set up super simple and I believe only about the first 10 pages are English instructions so it's not a long manual at all. And I have the remote control here. What I like about the remote control is that it's relatively small. It's smaller than your standard television remote so that's really convenient. And the buttons are grouped so that you have the laser buttons on the bottom, the music buttons on the top, and then you have a simple on and off for the music, laser, and LED. So super easy to figure out. It runs on two double A's so I'm going to set that up in a second. On the product itself, you have a brightness lever here so you can manually control whether you want the light to be brighter or darker. And you also have this USB port here. I was reading in the manual that if you wanted to plug in your own USB that has MP3 files on it, that it will play your own music. So if you were at an event like a wedding or a party and you wanted to have a specific playlist with no ads, you could definitely just plug in a USB here with all your songs loaded onto it and then it would play from there. I think that that's a really smart feature. And then you've got these speakers on either side. This is where you're going to want to aim your remote control. It says remote receiving area. You also have buttons to make the volume higher or lower. Pause your music, fast forward, or rewind your music. First impressions is that everything has been really easy to set up. Obviously, you can't get really much simpler than a device and a cord. Everything has been really self-explanatory so far, so I'm excited to show you guys how it's going to work. As you can see, it's still light outside, so I'm going to wait a couple hours till it's a little bit darker to try this out so that you can get the full viewing experience, and I will see you soon.
So now I'm going to walk you guys through the smart app component of this video. In the manual, it has an entire section dedicated to just the Wi-Fi mode, so I'm going to go through the steps here. It says, step one, check your phone Wi-Fi on or the product won't be connected. Step two, enable the location information on your phone or it cannot show the connected Wi-Fi name. Step three, connect your phone to a 2.4 gigahertz network, other frequencies not supported. Step four, in Wi-Fi mode, you can only adjust the light effects except the Bluetooth mode through the phone app or smart speaker, not by host button and remote controller. So on the manual, it has the two QR codes for the apps that this device will work with, and apparently either one of these works just as well as the other one. I downloaded the Smart Life app, so if you don't already have a QR code scanner on your phone, all you do is just go to Google and type QR code reader, and then I downloaded the app from there. So now I'm just going to go ahead with the rest of the instructions. I already registered and logged into the app. You have to create an account and a password if you haven't done this before. So now it says configuration, connect the power supply of the star projector and the host status to the off switch, which as of right now I have it plugged in and it is on the off switch as you can see. So then it says to connect to the Wi-Fi, slide repeatedly for three times with the following steps, off Wi-Fi, off Wi-Fi, off Wi-Fi and keep the host switch in Wi-Fi until the indicator light shows white and fast flashing. Note the interval of the power switch sliding should not exceed 10 seconds. So I'm gonna start with the steps in the manual and it said to repeat the off and Wi-Fi. So off right now, Wi-Fi, off, Wi-Fi, off, Wi-Fi. Bluetooth mode. As you can see, the device is now flashing white as it said it was going to in the manual. So as of right now, this is configured correctly for the Wi-Fi setting. So now I'm going to go back to the manual and work on the app portion. It says turn on Smart Life app, add device. So I'm going to add the device right here, big blue button in the middle. So next it says select lighting dash lighting Wi-Fi. So in the app, it's got all these different settings. Lighting is a one on the side and then lighting dash Wi-Fi is what I'm looking for. Okay, so on the app, it reads a little bit differently than it said in the manual. I believe I'm supposed to go to the one right in the top middle that says light source Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And then next you choose your home Wi-Fi and enter password. And then I entered the password and hit next. So now it's just asking you to confirm that the light is already blinking. These are the steps you can pause and read what it says here but I'll also read it. It says reset the device first. If the light is blinking rapidly, please skip the reset step. But if you didn't already have the light blinking correctly, then the steps are given as power on the device, turn on off, on off, on off, subject to the user manual. Ensure the light is blinking rapidly. Note, please complete the network distribution within three minutes after resetting the device. I'm gonna press this button here that says confirm that the light is blinking. And now, it's adding the device. As of right now, my light next to me just stopped the rapid blinking, which tells me that it probably was able to connect to my phone, or at least initializing that it's starting to connect to my phone. It still says adding device, ensuring that the signal is good, ensuring that the device is powered on. So I just got a confirmation that it scanned the device and that it was registered on the cloud and now it is successfully registered and it shows a little picture of my light it's called music starlight so what i see on my screen here first off is that it's on the white color i can turn on the timer or set a schedule i can change the brightness of the light and then underneath the color tab can change to any of these different colors here. I can change the brightness of the color here as well. And then I also have these options called scene. So basically they're set up depending on your mood. It's almost like asking what you would want it to look like. So I have a night feature, reading feature, working feature, leisure, soft, colorful, dazzling, and gorgeous. But as of right now, it only took me a few minutes to set everything up and I had no problems connecting. You can see it took me less than two minutes once I had everything correctly configured. So I am very excited to see what additional features I can do with this that aren't offered with just the remote.